Okay, so today I got the call from the post office that our chicks were in, which they're not actually chicks, they're ducklings, but from the sounds of it, you can't tell the difference. They cheep just like little chicks. And I went and picked them up, and then I went and got Joe from school because ever since she was about two years old, Joe has loved ducks. Birds in general, but ducks is one of her favorites. And since we lived in town, we couldn't have a duck. And now that we've moved, we've ordered our ducklings. There's supposed to be one boy and two girls in here in this box. And I've done research and figured out exactly what all we need for the ducklings. But um, I was thinking they probably wouldn't come till tomorrow. They're about a day early. So we're going to set up a little temporary enclosure um, until um, either one of the teenagers or my husband can help me get the um, the big aquarium in that I was going to keep them in until they're ready to go outside. So what we have is a plastic tote and it's lined with the artificial turf that you can get for lizards and stuff. That's what we had for our bearded dragon at one time. And we have a bowl or a lid here that we're gonna put the water in because everything I read said your water needs to be a quarter inch deep or more shallow than that even so that they do not drown. They will love the water, but we don't want them to drown in it. Um, we've got a food bowl here and we've got a little gauge to check the temperature because I'm not sure. I've got the heat lamp and a couple bulbs and I'm not sure if it's gonna need one bulb, two bulbs, if it's gonna be far enough away that far, when it's that far away because um, I don't want them to overheat and we've got some room temperature water. So, Joe, are we ready to open the package? Mm -hmm. We are? Okay, let me get the water thing in here. Oh, they're gonna be a little bit crowded until we get that aquarium set up because their water bowl's kinda big there. And their food, okay. Are we ready? Let's see. How are we gonna open this thing? I think it's stapled on the sides here. Let's see if I can pop the staple without bending the box. And if we hurt the ducklings, they will hurt themselves. Yeah, we don't want them to get hurt, so I think this staple's almost loose. There it is. You wanna open it? And, and discover their cuteness? Nope, just lift up on this one. I think it should lift. <gasps> Look at that cuteness! They're all three alive and happy! Oh, hi, 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 hi! Okay, Joe. What you're gonna do is I want you to use both hands and very gently scoop in and cup them up. You don't want their legs to get too far under your hand or into your hand because they can use it to jump out. Do you want me to get one for you or do you want to yeah. try? You want me to? Right under here, get this sweet little baby. See, I keep his legs there, keep my fingers around him so he can't jump out. I don't know if it's a he or a she, but it sure is cute. Say hello to your new mommy. Say hi. Hi. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and sit her in here. They don't know my English because they are ducks. Well, I guess you'll have to learn to speak quack. I know. Quack. Turn around this way. Our duck says quack. To be very gentle, you can't squeeze them. You don't want to squeeze. Oh, it's lonely. Oh, look at that thing run. <laughs> Scoop her up very gently. She's scared. You cannot step on her, okay? You want to try to catch her? Or do you want to run the video for me while I catch her? I, uh, you got yeah. the video? Okay. be a scaredy cat. Yeah. I think Flower is a scared one. Here we go. Okay. You video on them? Mm-hmm. You got it on there? Mm hmm Do you want to pour the water in or do you want me to do it? You do it. Okay. One of them are standing on the food bowl. Maybe they're looking for food. I think they can almost smell water. Here guys, look, water. 
Wanted. It needs to be a little bit more level. It's all going to go to one side. Maybe if I put something under this end. <laughs> oh, it got right in the water. Yeah. <laughs> thing I read said they would love water. Okay, I'm going to use this box top to shim it up on this side so we can get the water a little leveler. There we go. Look at you. <laughs> Hey, quit pecking your sister in the eye. Brother, sister, sister. Right? Yeah. Okay. Shall we go get their food so they quit trying to eat each other's eyes? Yeah. Okay, let's go out. Do you remember where we put the food? Uh-uh. It is out by the incubator. Well, we need both of them. Wax snacks? Too. Not those. Those are for when they get bigger. Wax yes. snacks are for when they get big. But we need the, yep, the grit and the chick starter. Careful of those things. They're sharp. Got it? Okay. Mm -hmm. Here, I gotta go get a knife to open those packages. Here, you take the camera and you can video the ducklings while I'm. What if I'm drinking it? Oh, they're thirsty. So, Mom. what's the boy's name? Lucky. Lucky the duck. Brownie. Brownie. And flower, right? Yes. That the one that you just named flower, you might still change that name. You just were coming up with that one today, right? Mm-hmm. Well, oh, this has a little tear tab. I don't even need a knife. Okay. They're about actually I do need a knife because they don't want the tear tab in the right spot. Okay. Ready for some food. Now, where's that cup? Oh, it's still got water in it. Okay, let's see here what happens when I put food in there. You guys hungry? <laughs> We're very excited about that water. <laughs> That's for sure. One of them are eating. Yeah, look at that. Mom, I think their collars show which one is a girl so and funny. male. Well, you know that one little one that I was trying to catch? I noticed it has a green band on its leg. And that one has no band. And that one has no band. I wonder if that one with the green band is the boy. Because it's the only one with the band. Okay. And then they need something called chick grit. Because this... Is what helps them digest their food in their little gullet. So we are going to mix those two foods together? Well, I'm going to, when we get them in their um, big home, I'm going to have a different bowl for the chick grit. But I don't have a separate bowl for it right now. So I'm just going to put a tiny bit over here on the edge. There, that should give them enough for today. How's that? And now... We need to get them set up with some warmth. Get, don't want them to get too cold. All right? Little baby. Mom, how can we heat. tell which one is a girl, which one is brownie, and which one is flower? Well, the more you look at them, the more you'll see differences, and you'll figure out which one is which by the looks. We might almost have to wait until um, their big duck feathers come in. Or maybe they'll act different. If they act a little different, maybe we'll be able to figure out who's who. Actually, I didn't know. I have to still give them those two to which one is who, who. Who is who? Mm -hmm. See, I don't really want them pecking this right off of the side. I don't know if it'll stick or not. But put that on there, and then I'm going to set this on here. Okay. So, if... I am the owner, and I have to check their temperature. I don't 
think that's just gonna work. I'm gonna go sideways. I don't want it to fall on them, obviously. That would be bad. Yeah. Okay. We will set that on there. Okay, why don't you come around? Oh my goodness! Good thing there was two bulbs in the package. Because that one isn't going to work. Mom, I will help you clean that up. That's okay. Just don't step in it. Go around the table. Come over here so you can picture the ducklings. Thank goodness it didn't go in there with them. Yeah, or they will get glass on their feet. Yeah. And hurt themselves. I will look at them over here. So now I can see them good. Mom, let's take Fez's light. Yeah, I will do that for now because that one sets the clear up and side of it. Oh no, that will go easily go in that. The Let me see. Which one is it? It is right here. Okay. Mom, if I'm the owner, do I have to check their light bulb? We're gonna, it'll stay on all the time. Do they need to stay? Um, uh oh. There we go. Okay, and then this little thing is to check the temperature right there. Only I need to check the temperature. See how they're doing down here. They are so thirsty. So every day, probably two times a day. Like when you get up in the morning before you go to school, you need to come out here and get their water and take it to the sink, rinse it out, get a paper towel, clean it up, and bring it back with a cup of water, put it in there, and put water in it. Two times. when you Before you go to school and when you get home from school, you're going to have to get them fresh water because they're going to play in it all day and make it dirty. And yeah. Get their food like in there. Like blues. Mm-hmm. Like he was like, that was not food. He ate some of that grit. And I was like, a little bit unimpressed, I think. Yep, they look happy. And we have a little bit of a light bulb mess that needs to be cleaned up. You're so cute. Look at him smacking away in that water. So happy to have water. We're definitely going to be wanting to build us a little pond. Or ducks. When they grow up and swim. Mm -hmm. What was that? The light went off. Why did the light go off? Well, we may have to rearrange lights here and get that tortoise light that clamps onto the edge. And the tortoises may have to have this overhead light so that they can have warmth because they can't go without heat bulb. Okay, say bye to the ducklings. Say bye to them, Joey, because you have to go back to school. Bye.